everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to make this really cute little sketchbook with a little bow on it. It's really cute and it's all made from one book of watercolor paper. So with that watercolor paper book you are going to want to remove all the pages and the backboard. Don't worry if the backboard's messy, it's not going to be seen in the end. Um, so yeah, remove all the pages like this and separate them. Then you're going to want to find the midpoint uh, of all the pages. So basically the halfway point. And then with a semi-sharp object, you're gonna wanna crease it in the middle like this. I'm just using some wire, just anything that's kinda sharp but not sharp enough to cut through the paper. Then you're gonna fold it in half and crease it using like a ruler or something. <laughs> Make sure they're all really well creased so it's easier when you're stitching them together. So do the same for all the other pages, like this. Ooh, so pretty! Let's uh, bind these together so then it's easier for us to put like the draft points where we're going to stitch them. So I'm making my stitches like three and a half centimeters apart. I don't know how much that's in inches, but it's, uh, I think that's probably like one or two inches, um, but I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, the, um, the distance between the stitches really doesn't matter, um, or the number of stitches that you make. So then with a needle, I'm just poking through all the dots that I made on all of the pages. Be sure to use the thick needle that you're going to use later on in the stitching, so that then you don't have to be re-poking it. Then for the backboard, that's right. So you're going to want to find the midpoint again uh, of the backboard. And with an X-Acto knife, you're going to want to chop it in half. Like this. So yeah, I resorted to the box cutter, don't judge me, it was harder than I thought. Um... Then you're going to want to make a 1cm margin on one of the sides of both the backboards. Like this. And then you're going to want to make the same measurements that you did for the stitches on the pages. So a point every three and a half centimeters. Do the same for the other backboard. And then just put everything together like this, just to see how it's all come together, I guess. And make sure that all the points are aligned uh, perfectly so then there's no problems when you get to stitching. So once you measure out two arms length of the string of your choice and you're finished untangling it, which took me about like two hours, good luck with that. So you're going to want to knot it at the end. I triple knotted it just to be safe. Uh, and then you're going to want to put it in a needle, basically. This also took me a lot longer than expected. So, to start stitching, you're going to want to have the backboard and the first page, and you're going to start from the inside like this. And then you're going to go through the backboard like this, from outside to the inside. And then you're going to want to loop it around the first stitch that you made, so just around the vertical line that you've got. Just loop it around there, until you've got something that looks like this. Then you're going to want to poke it back into the paper like this. And then do the exact same thing for all the other holes, like this. So then to add a page, don't go back into the first one that you were doing. Um, go into the second page like this, and then just go straight into the second hole of the second page. 
you don't do any looping or anything on the first stitch of the, um, the first page. Um, then to do the looping uh, on the next pages that you do, it's kind of different from the first one. You basically go under the page that you just did, so beneath the crease that you just stitched, and loop it around that. And then you just keep doing that for all the other pages. It does get a lot easier when you get the hang of it, believe me. And be careful because the strings do tend to uh, like tangle a lot, so be careful with that. So then for the last one, you're going to uh, put down your last page and the um, backboard. And you're going to go in through the backboard from the outside into the inside, well, like this, without touching the last page. And then you're going to loop it underneath the last crease that you did, like this. And only then will you stitch it into the last page, like so. And then you're going to repeat the process, but kind of the other way around. So you're going to go um, out uh, through the paper from the inside to the outside. And then through the backboard to the outside. And then you loop and then you go back into the paper and repeat the entire process. Then when you're done just give it a couple of knots and nip it. And then, as I said, we're going to glue the backboards onto the first and last page so you don't see all the mess that there was, and uh, do apply a lot of pressure. Then don't forget to add glue to the spine of the book. And also don't forget to add glue to the end of the string. This part is optional, but if you want to add a ribbon, then find the middle page of the book and then uh, try and pass the ribbon through the creases that you made. Um, it can't have any stitches, the page that you choose. So basically do this, then knot it, and then there you go. You're done, basically. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It's really easy, it's not as hard as it looks, and it does give a pretty good sketchbook because mine just finished and I needed a new one. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed! Rain is good for the soul. Crazy how I feel the most warm when it's cold.